Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be, uh, I think, a long-awaited Q&A. I wanted to film something a bit more personal because my blog is mostly about makeup and every once in a while skincare. Um, and I have talked about some more personal things but I just thought it would be nice to do a Q&A and for you guys to get to know me even better. So I posted uh, a blog post and asked you some questions and I certainly got some which are really fun and I'm really grateful for everyone who left some questions so thank you so much for that. I was so anxious that I wouldn't get a question at all but I got some and I'm really pleased about that. <laughs> All these questions are from fellow bloggers, so I will link their website in the description down below, so please check them out, I'm so grateful that they sent me some questions. Anyway, <laughs> so the first question is from Beautyholics101, and she asked, how long have you been blogging for and why did you start doing it? <laughs> I started blogging because of a school assignment, which is quite odd, and um fun at the same time if you think about it but that's how I started to to blog basically so the assignment was that we had to keep a diary which was based on culture so things that you did in your life and etc so basically like a, a lifestyle blog but you had to write in Dutch because it was for <laughs> the Dutch course of course um, because I speak Dutch <laughs> Flemish but Dutch <laughs> so I did that and I did it for quite a while because it was an assignment so you have to do it for quite a while but once the assignment was done I noticed that I actually quite like doing you know a blog <laughs> doing a blog uh, I quite like writing stuff for that blog but my main issue was that I was not comfortable with my own mother language, I don't know why. I was just not comfortable writing in, in Dutch and I wasn't really a big fan of it. And then I started a second blog. Was it in English or in Dutch? I'm not sure. I think it was in English, but something with that blog went a bit wrong and I wasn't a fan of it again. So then I started Peculiar Blonde Girl which was my third blog in, in essence and that's where things went quite right so that's why <laughs> that's how I started doing it I don't know how long it has been I think December of 2016 I think that's when or December? I think it's December of 2016 that I started blogging I'm not too sure <laughs> I will say it here if I'm right or not uh, that's when I started blogging, uh, so almost two years I think, and I still enjoy it, I still love uh, writing things, and yeah. So the second question is from Mia, and Mia's blog is Beautiful, Inspiring and Creative Life, I think that's how you say it, correct me if I'm wrong. She asked, uh, Mia asked a few questions, and the first one is, what do you like most about makeup? Ooh, there are a lot of things that I like about makeup. I like buying it, I like trying it, I like using it. Uh, but the main thing is just, you know, transforming your face and playing with those colours, seeing how everything kind of blends together is so fascinating to me. Like, you can have two colours and they can blend seamlessly to one another and I just love seeing that. <laughs> yep. I also like the possibilities that you have with makeup. You can create so many looks, you can be so diverse. And I also like the fact that makeup has a certain routine, or at least it has to me. You know, you have steps that you have to follow and then you get the end result. And that structure gives me so much peace in my life, I want to say. It's so um, calming to me because, you know, your life can be quite chaotic and then you can go to makeup and you have that structure something that is controllable in your life and that just gives me yeah just a lot of peace in my mind sometimes so that's what I like about 
makeup, just the diversity, the way that things can blend together in your face and uh, the routine, the structure of it. Mia's second question is top tips for new bloggers. In essence, I'm still a new blogger so I don't really have a lot of tips and tricks for you guys. Uh, I think that communication with other bloggers is definitely important and is something that I've, I struggle with most of the times. I, I'm not very good at communication with other people. <laughs> But I think communication, reacting, liking, uh, in you know, just interacting with other bloggers is really important for your new blog. Um, don't write about things that don't interest you. I've never, I don't think I've ever done that. And if I did, I deleted it probably because um, it's just not something that makes you happy, makes you feel happy, and gives you you know long-term happiness. I think if you write about things. Or if, film, or if you film things that don't make you happy. I had to find the balance between working for the university and writing for my blog, filming for my blog, taking pictures on my blog. A lot of people seem to think that it's not a lot of work, but it is. You know, it takes up quite a bit of time to think of words to write. Uh, to take pictures the way that you want them to be and to be happy with the end result. I post whenever I have the time lately, especially with university. It takes up a lot of time to study, to learn, to go to courses. It's just a lot. So I post whenever I want to. So that's definitely another tip that I would like to give you. Just post when you're comfortable and when you have some spare time. Yeah. Now Mia's final question is, what is your favourite thing about yourself? Yikes! Well, I'm gonna say a few things that I like about myself. Uh, I'm gonna talk about appearance and then I'm talking about character. So the first thing that I really like about myself when it comes to my appearance is my eyes. I don't know why. Uh, I feel like that's such a cliche th thing to say. But I like my eyes uh, because I feel like they're really expressive. You can just read off my face <laughs> what I think and a lot of people have told me that as well. They're quite big. Um, so yeah, my eyes. Um, second thing, thing that I really like about my appearance is my cheeks. I really like my cheeks. They're like round and squishy and when you do it like this it looks like you know it's just squishy basically and now they're all red but anyway <laughs> uh, I also like my height I'm uh, 1 meter 49 centimeters so yeah that's very small you don't realize how small it is until you like see a picture of yourself sometimes or you don't for example you guys will never know how small it can be, or how small I am, <laughs> unless you meet me in real life, then you're like, oh yeah, she's really, she's really small. <laughs> when it comes to my character, I like to think that I am modest. Uh, I also like the fact that if I want something to change about my character, or when I want something to change in my life, I will change it, and I will not do it. Like that persistence. Um, I like the fact that I can be quite persistent and have the will to change, so thanks. <laughs> this will not come as a surprise because it's in the name of my blog, but I am quite peculiar. I am quite quirky in a way. Uh, I am. When you meet me, <laughs> you will see an awkward person at first and after a while I will become comfortable and I will be extremely weird at times, so that's, uh, I, I like that personally. I like to be that person, that quirky, awkward bean. Oh yeah, that were uh, Mia's questions. Definitely check out her blog. She's amazing, very kind, and I love the things that she writes. Okay, so on to the next blogger that had some questions for me, and that is Simple Serenity. Ooh, I love that girl. She has, I think she's been with me. 
you know, she's been a follower of me, of my blog, <laughs> uh, since the beginning, I think, so that's quite a long time. She's always very supportive, so I'm really glad that she asked me some questions. So, the first question that she asked me is, what my favourite movie is? Ooh. <laughs> I don't really have favourite things in life, like... If you ask me what is your favourite pasta dish and then I'm like, mm, I don't know, what is your favourite food, I don't know. But if I have to say my favourite movie, I will say that my favourite movie that I have watched recently was definitely The Grand Budapest Hotel. My god, <laughs> it was such a quirky, amazing, entertaining film. Um, very cleverly thought out. I like the style of the film. It was. I really recommend that you watch that film. So, definitely watch the Grand Budapest. The Grand Budapest Hotel. I love that. Uh, another movie that I really liked was The Lobster. It's kind of like an indie film. It isn't really that known, but it's so strange. It's honestly like a strange frigging movie but it's really good at the same time uh yeah so those two i really enjoy next she asked me what my favorite song is again a favorite i'm so <laughs> worthless when it comes to choosing favorite things uh favorite song one of my all-time favorite songs is love is a losing game by amy winehouse I adore that song. I probably still cry to it every time I hear it. <laughs> so yeah, um, that one. Okay, okay. I found another uh, song that I really enjoy. The song is Magic System with Bouger Bouger. So it's French, but it's so amazing. It's so nostalgic to me because I listened to that song during my entire childhood with some friends. It's just such a, a summery song. It's really good. I don't know. <laughs> so that one. So yeah, that's uh, favourite songs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I just can't do one favourite, you know. I just it, It's not in my nature. Next up, uh, Simple Serenity asked me, if you could only keep five makeup products, which ones would you keep? Ooh, I have to dig in my makeup collection now. Just a second. Okay, so I've got my five products that... Uh, if I could keep forever, I would. <laughs> so the first one, for sure, is like my ride or die for my eyebrows. <laughs> and it's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. I have two of them right here. One is empty, one is not. I don't know which one. I think this one is not empty. This one is empty. This is amazing. I love this so much. It's like the most natural way to fill in my brows. It's just so good. I repurchase over and over again. So I would definitely recommend this micro brow pencil. The second item that I will definitely be purchasing and keeping forever if I could, you know, if I had to choose five and I would keep forever, this would be like the first one in my uh, bag. And it is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer and as you can tell this one is almost empty so I have to repurchase another one. Uh, next up I have two highlighters, a liquid one and a powder one. I'm gonna start with the liquid. Uh, it's also by the same brand so I'm really sorry about that. So the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow in the shade Perla which looks like these. This is a dream. <laughs> the powder highlighter is also by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it was a collaboration. And I think if you have been watching or if you uh, have been reading my blog for quite some time, you will know which highlighter <laughs> it is. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills XM Reason highlight, which looks like this. Open it up, looks like these. Look at that. I reach for it every day. I love the packaging with like the stars in it and all that kind of good jazz on it. It just it's so good. It's so good. Then the final product is a lip product again drugstore. And this is the Catrice the 
the tag is gone so I don't know what it is called but it's something along the lines of the Catrice lip volumizing oh wait the volumizing lip booster and this is the shade nuts about Mary I use this every day this is hands down one of the best lip glosses I have tried it's better than the NYX butter glosses I am obsessed with this so those are the five products that I would keep forever if I had to choose. And then the final question from Simple Serenity is shoes or bags? And I'm gonna say shoes because I'm not really a bag person. I, yeah, I'm just not really a bag person. I would rather spend a lot of money on shoes instead of bags. So yeah. <laughs> then I have a really fun question from Lizzie Grace. Uh, which is, um, what is the first high-end makeup item I ever purchased and if I still have it and what I think of it now. So the first makeup item that I actually purchased myself was um, the MAC uh, matte lipstick in Meher or Mer, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, and I still actually had it until a few months ago when I went on vacation to France and I lost it there. I forgot it somewhere, so it's still lying somewhere in the saddle front, so that's a pity. <laughs> but, uh, so I still had it, but what do I think of it now? I think I would repurchase Mare because it was such a beautiful shade, like a rosy pink shade, uh, with a hint of brown. It looked extremely well on my complexion. I really enjoyed that colour. Uh, I also really enjoyed the matte formulas from MAC. They're still one of my favourites. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately I don't have it anymore, but it definitely was like a favourite of mine. <laughs> so finally, uh, I have a few questions from Cordelia. I, I think that's how you say it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong again. Uh, and she asked me if I could share five things on my bucket list. That's a hard question because I don't really know what's on my bucket list. So, I would like to see the Northern Lights. That's one. I would love to go to Indonesia, like Bali. That's definitely a dream of mine. Um, the third one is that I would love to jump out of a plane sometimes, like parachute, you know, that one. I would love to do that once. Um, the fourth is, you know, getting a house of my own or living together with my boyfriend, that would be amazing as well. So that's definitely on my bucket list, together with a cat. I love cats. And the fifth one is just being happy. I think that's one of my goals in life, to be content with life. You know, with what you have and stuff. I really want to be happy. I am happy, but I... You know, if I look back at my life, I want to stay happy, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I've just quickly put my hair up because it's getting too goddamn warm inside of this room. Cordelia also asked me if I wanted to, like, film uh, or even you just talk about uh, life in Belgium a bit more. And I'm very willing to do that. It's just that my life is really boring. <laughs> But I uh, do want to make like a video or something about the differences that might occur in your country between mine. Uh, I think that might be a cool video to watch or to make even. Um, so yeah, if, let me know if you want to like see a video on that. Uh, so yeah, um, I want to thank all of the bloggers that just sent a quick question to me. I hope you liked this Q&A. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already like comment do whatever you want and uh yeah <laughs> i'll see you in my next video bye guys so i hope i i i um <laughs> so i don't like a